if your doctor prescribes you high blood pressure medication, it means that he or she deems that your blood pressure needs to be reduced immediately to avoid a heart attack or stroke. So please do take that medication while attempting to reduce your blood pressure naturally. However, for some people, the doctor will ask you to try and reduce your blood pressure without medication first. Regardless whether you are put on high blood pressure medication or not, these methods are important to follow to help you to have a healthier and longer life. Number one, diet. Eat a healthy, balanced diet with lots of fresh fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Next time when you shop in the supermarket, choose whole grain bread over white bread. Reduce sugar, salt, and fat intake. Avoid processed food, which is often filled with high salt content. Too much salt hardens the blood vessels and increases blood pressure. You will be surprised on how much salt they are in food nowadays. Sodium is salt. So on the label of your food, when it says sodium, then you know that's salt. Adults should eat no more than 6 grams of salt a day, 2.4 grams sodium. That's around 1 teaspoon of salt a day. Remove table salt from your dining table to avoid a salt adding habit. Use herbs instead of salt to flavor your food. Avoid licorice as it can increase your blood pressure. Number two, exercise. Do appropriate regular exercises. Get directions from your doctor of what type of exercises would suit you. Start small, begin by blocking out some time in the day, even if it is just a short time, like 10 minutes a day, to exercise. You can then gradually build this up. Make it a habit until you feel uncomfortable when you don't exercise. So exercise can be as simple as walking around the neighborhood, taking public transport instead of driving your car. Other activities you might enjoy is to join dance, swimming, cycling, martial art classes, and whatnot. Make your exercises fun and enjoyable. Some people find it useful to use an activity tracker like a Fitbit or an iWatch to help them monitor their progress and keep them motivated. Join a gym or exercise community group. Having a friend or a family member to join you or use an accountability partner like a personal fitness trainer can help motivate you. It's a great idea to get a personal trainer if you can afford it. Or there's so many YouTube videos nowadays that you can just put it on and follow the instructions. While exercising, if you feel symptoms of discomfort like a chest pain, feeling faint, difficulty breathing, your heart beats irregularly or too fast, stop immediately and seek medical advice. Remember, do not hold your breath when lifting weights. Number three, lose weight. When you have high blood pressure, it makes it harder for the heart to pump the blood all throughout your body. So when you are overweight, this makes it even harder. So by reducing weight, you can help reduce the burden of the heart to pump blood all throughout the body. And this can reduce the risk of getting heart diseases. Number four, if you smoke, quit smoking, as smoking increases your blood pressure. There are many support groups out there and medication as well to help you quit. Speak to your doctor or pharmacist for more information. Number five, if you drink alcohol, limit alcohol drinking as too much alcohol increases your blood pressure. I also run another channel where it is more fun there. If you are interested, check it out and all the links are in the description box below. Ciao.